Well, good morning everybody, Steve here. When I say everybody, I don't know how many people are watching this this series of mine, of uh, videos, but it uh, doesn't matter, I'm just sharing my thoughts to whoever happens to find this and uh, watch it, and uh, hopefully you'll get something out of uh, my little uh, rants of, uh, of a morning every so often. I haven't done one of these for a while, uh, but uh, my name's Steve, and... Um, uh, I'm just doing a little bit of a series at the moment on um, healing and uh, I thought I'd uh, make use of the time uh, that I spend driving to work. Today is actually Saturday and every couple of weeks I work uh, on a Saturday morning uh, which I prefer not to do because I'm kind of winding down these days and uh, preparing for retirement but uh, uh, I get a day off a week and uh, in return for that I work once a fortnight on a Saturday so that's the way it goes um, but uh, yeah I'm, uh, I'm just uh, continuing with this theme of healing and uh, as I've mentioned before I I see healing as as this kind of um, very fraught uh, area in the, the particularly Christian church and uh, where there are some people that have amazing, profound and abundant experiences of divine, miraculous healing and some people go through their entire life as a, as a believer, so to speak, um, without ever really experiencing uh, the, uh, the, the healing power of God, um, other than in the course of what we might term natural events of healing which are still, I believe, divine, because God has built healing into the human body. Um, just the, uh, the, the understanding of the way that the immune system works is absolutely mind-boggling. Um, it's one of the things that I used to refer to uh, and provide evidence of the fact that uh, God must be real when I was teaching Christian apologetics is because of the miraculous nature of the healing powers of the human body. Um, could not have happened by accident but anyway that's another subject um, but healing where does healing come from um, how do we access healing I talked about that healing comes out of the nature of God healing is the very nature of God God cannot be anything but a healer love uh, by its very nature Agape love has as its core the the um, the intent of bringing perfect, complete, full well-being to another, and uh, that is what agape is. So, if you think about God as love, bundled up with love, is the obvious logical association with healing. You cannot love someone who is not well without wanting them to be well. Um, some people, some religious ideas of God might separate healing from love, but we're not talking about what I call whacked up ideas <laughs> of God uh, that I've departed from. So, love is healing. Now, an interesting thing, I've been having an engagement with somebody on uh, YouTube and uh, they've been, and I just made the comment, I just made a comment, uh, they said, oh, you know, this whole religion thing, Christianity thing is, is, is all fake and, uh, you know, fancy believe in, some, in something like the resurrection and I, I, just, I just made a comment that uh, there's plenty of evidence for the resurrection of Jesus. I didn't try to prove anything I just made a comment and he came back with a barrage of all these reasons why that can't be true and all that sort of thing and he's been trying to get me to um, put up my evidence for the historicity of the resurrection which I could do I, I taught on Christian apologetics uh, at, a, at a church I was going to and and I could do it but I, to be honest with you it just bores me now I, tires me out to go back over that old ground of trying to prove things um, I'm not interested in proving anything uh, but what I did say to him is you have the evidence of the resurrection at work in your life right now 
and he obviously had no idea what I was talking about. And I said, well, what gives your life meaning? And he came back saying, well, my loved ones uh, give my life meaning. And I said, well, that's evidence of God. That's evidence of love. Because any time that love manifests, that's evidence of, of uh, God at work in your life. That was the last post that I made. There's a lot more than that, but, but that's the nub of uh, what I was getting at. So um, I'm in that exchange, what I'm trying to get across to him is that God is not a religious figure. God is not a um, some sort of spiritual, uh, you know, entity that's just a bigger version or a more powerful version of us. God is the manifestation of love. Everything that exists exists in love. Everything that has come to be has come to be because of love, and everything that every atom of our bodies exists as if bathed and it marinated in love so when you think of it that way whenever anything goes wrong in our physical body it's going wrong inside that bathing of you like if you like of love there is something that is wrong and it's wrong at a very profound level because when it was created the universe was full of uh, and only manifested this love I believe so we've got to think well where does rather than thinking about where does healing come from and how do we get healing I think it's far, uh, far uh, it's a it's a good thing for us to think about well if everything is perfect in the beginning why isn't everything perfect now where does sickness come from why do we even need to think about healing well um, obviously we've got the theological ideas we've got the Bible that talks about sin and all that sort of thing but however you want to think about it what I think has happened is that somehow we have departed from the realization of everything being in love everything being whole everything being good everything being um, of such a nature that it brings only well-being to everything we've we've descended from that we've fallen from that way of of realizing and expecting and just seeing everything being good and so we live in this world where there's a lie at work and the lie manifests as unwellness disharmony and mental illness so the, the key is then if the um, if the manifestation of that which is very real and powerful comes from thinking which I believe it does what is it about thinking that relieves us that and it's got I think it's got something to do with what the Bible calls belief now belief for me is a really uh, interesting interesting idea because I don't know about you but for many years I spent my life trying to believe or being convinced that I need to believe, <laughs> believing I need to believe, um, more, better, different, in order to get things to happen, in order for, to get something from God that I didn't have already, to make God turn up, to, um, you know, believe God for, you know, finances and all that sort of stuff. And that's, I guess, an aspect for sure but the Greek word for belief is pistis in the New Testament and pistis has the idea of confidence trust um, and binding to like um, adhering to um, you know it's um, it, the idea is is being one with agreeing with all those kinds of concepts come out in this word pistis which is what 
uh, Jesus was talking about when he said, whoever believes in me, rivers of living water will flow out of their innermost being. So agreeing with, aligning with, harmonizing with, trusting in, adhering to Jesus releases within us that flow. So to the degree that we don't agree, we don't align, we don't trust, we don't adhere with God in Christ, to that degree, other things will flow in our lives. And I believe that is where uh, sickness comes from, where poverty comes from, where disharmony in relationships come from, where mental illness come from, and, um, sorry, had something caught in my teeth. <laughs> um, and uh, then the flow of life is blocked, and for some mysterious reason that I'm still trying to work through, there's another force called darkness that is released. Uh, it's not really a force, I don't think, in itself. It's a, a diminishing or an inhibition of the life flow. Uh, but where that life flow is not manifest, there is deterioration. There is a collapse. There is a, a, a diminishing of life. So, if we simply come back to this point of God being love, then I think we can start to make it uh, much more easy on ourselves when we come to thinking about how do we get healed or how do we believe for healing and all that sort of thing. How do we get faith? I think it's a matter of simply meditating continually. Meditating continually on the, on the reality that is behind all of this which is that God is love, God is in me, Christ, the Logos, the Word, the, the emanation of God's goodness is in me, and I am, I am fully immersed in that. To bring my thinking more and more and more in line with the truth. And as I, as I meditate, think about, as Paul said, whatever is good, whatever is lovely, whatever is good, of good report, think about these things. As we think about these things, as we meditate on love and as we engage with God in relationship, to and fro, conversation in our heart, um, listening for God, um, dwelling in, in heavenly places in God, Letting our imagination flow into good things. It'll build an expectation and a trust that of course my dad is gonna is gonna look after me. Of course my dad is gonna heal me. Of course my dad is gonna provide for me. Of course my dad is gonna preserve relationships. Because that is the manifestation of he who is in me. So my little thought for today is that. Rather than concentrating on getting healing or, or um, building faith, the, the key to it all is dwelling in God, in our minds, in our hearts, allowing ourselves to experience whatever that brings. And sometimes it'll be a profound physical experience of healing. Sometimes it'll be a profound uh, spiritual experience powerful experience of, of having revelation and, and a sense of the presence of God and his power um, sometimes it will be uh, God showing up so to speak through other people through circumstances but as we dwell in the in the reality the truth that God is love and God fills all things then we will be transformed. I'm being transformed day by day as I, as I come to understand that this is the, the key to everything. And it's so simple. I don't know why we spend so many years trying to make this life in God 
so difficult and so complex, so oh, tiring. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope that it helps somebody. Uh, go and have a really good day and, and dwell in love.